Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome in. Uh, there are a lot of new ones that I've seen. I think I went from 30 to 40 subscribers and now I'm at 120 last I checked. So uh, I wanna thank everybody that's been here and thank all of the new people that are here. I appreciate all of you. So today I am making a new chop mix. Uh, I've been trying different foods. So the mix that I have today, it is, I have brown and wild rice. It's just the, the minute kind. It was a little easier for me. Um, then I have my veggie mix, of course, which is on top of the, the rice right now. And I've got 100% whole grain noodles. I have a classic egg food mix. I don't know how to say that name, um, but I got it at Petco. Uh, everything else I got at Walmart. Um, I also bought a 15 bean soup mix. I'm not gonna use the Cajun seasoning, but yesterday when I did their chop, I took this tool. I use it for hamburger. And I just, just I know I could use a food processor but I feel like it overdoes it and sometimes it makes things a little bit more mushy than I wanted. So I chopped up everything kind of individually and then I mixed everything together at the end. The apple went in last because I didn't want it to brown too much. So this tool, I use it to chop everything and I just go in and chop everything down just to give it a good mix. And I, I don't wanna do it where it's mushy or where it's weird. I just want it to be chopped up enough that they'll consider eating it and they probably get little bits of everything in the bite that they take even though they didn't want to or they don't think that they did. So in this bowl so far, I have the veggie mix, the rice mix, and the 100% whole grain noodles. I still have to add a little bit of apple uh, the sweet kale mix and the beans to the mix and I I will cut up what I did yesterday and what I did also today because they've already been fed today is I put some of the sweet kale mix in a bowl and I just took my orange scissors and just chopped it uh, the sweet kale mix up at the top and then I mixed everything together um, so that way the pieces weren't so big and they absolutely love the sweet kale mix. I was so shocked when I went back there and all of Sammy's was gone except for maybe one or two bites and a lot of wasabi's was gone. Ash is my eater as well and he ate a lot. So I got a hold of Charlotte this morning, my breeder, I don't know if I've said that already. Uh, and I told her thank you because she shared it on her Facebook page and I went and bought the stuff and you know sometimes you win some sometimes you lose some with giving your bird stuff sometimes they love it sometimes they hate it so they loved it uh, so I will start buying that from now on and every now and then I plan to incorporate different things like I've done sweet potato in the past I've done bell peppers in the past I plan to do a few bell peppers again I bought some sweet peppers they don't like jalapeno or the serrano peppers uh it's kind of disappointing but I will keep trying with some of the spicier peppers and some of the other peppers for now we're just going to add the few new things that we've done and Hope for the best. The sweet kale mix was a hit. Let's hope that the beans and the wild rice and brown rice are a hit too. Okay, so I'm not that bright. I do not know how to cook beans. Never cooked beans in my life. I'm ashamed to say that, but I've never cooked beans. I don't like beans. Uh, I like black beans, but I don't really care for any other beans. So I only soaked them for a couple minutes and rinsed them off and then started to cook them and it kept bugging at me. So I got a hold of Charlotte and I asked her, how long do I need to soak the beans? And it's eight hours. So I also had to Google 
whether or not to do it in hot or cold water. It's cold water for eight hours. So I'm going to do that now. I've already got rid of the beans that were cooking and I am washing all of the dishes from everything. So in eight hours, I will cook the beans and the chop will be good for tomorrow, which is what I planned for anyway. So, so as I was saying with the sweet kale mix, I just, well, you don't get to see anything now. <laughs> my orange handled scissors, I use these for a lot of my bird foods and I just chop it up a little bit more so that way the pieces are a little bit smaller. Okay, so for now I've mixed everything that I can mix, the rice, the veggie mix, the sweet kale mix, and the whole grain noodles. I will be back in nine hours uh, after the beans are done, and I plan to add some apple to this as well. I wanted to say thank you to all of you who ask me questions. I, I really do enjoy answering them, um, even in other languages. I use Google Translate and it's, it's awesome. And I enjoy doing it. I've been able to answer people now in Spanish um, and Swedish, which has been really, I don't know why I just get so much fulfillment out of answering you guys' questions. It's, it really is fun for me. Uh, so I wanna thank everyone who's asked questions or thank everybody who's commented on my page and I will be right back after my chop is done and I can show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so the beans are finally done soaking. Eight hours is done. It's 1029 and I put them in the pot. So they're on the stove, they're cooking. They'll take about an hour and nine minutes. It said 60 to 70 minutes. So it's pitch dark outside. It is quite late, but this is the last step for my chop and I will get to find out whether or not they like it tomorrow. I hope they like the beans. I really do. It was a lot of work for those beans. Okay, so my beans are officially done and I am waiting for them to cool down a little bit and then I'm gonna add them to the chop and I will see you guys in the morning to see whether or not they like them. I hope I remember to record it. So here's Ash and his food is in his bowl. I don't give him much because Get about a spoonful. They really don't go through a whole lot. I gotta wipe down your cage again, dirty boy. But I think they like it. He's not really had any objections and that was after adding the beans to the bowl. So Sammy is eating hers, or she was, till she saw me coming. Get your nummy nummy. Good girl. I've always said that to them. Anytime I feed them, I tell them to go eat their nummy nummies. She seems to really like it. I don't know if she liked that bean I think she just picked up, but. You gonna eat your nummy nummies? Hmm? Can you eat it? Look at all that good stuff. Yeah. yeah. You gonna eat your nummy nummies? Wasabi's in protest because I won't let him out because we've got a birthday party to go to today and he doesn't want to stay in. So he's not going to let me catch any video of him eating his nummy nummy. But I know he likes it because he eats almost all of it. So, here it goes. Is it good? Good boy. Good boy. So this is what's left after they've had the last few hours to eat on it. I'll show you their bowls. This is Wasabi's bowl and he ate a really good amount. This is Ash's bowl, he ate a lot. Tilly, like I said, really didn't touch much, but he did eat a little bit. And then that's all Sammy had left. So I'd say it was a hit. I'm glad they enjoyed it because I have a whole huge bowl in the refrigerator. So that's what they're gonna eat for the next few days. And that's it. If you guys like the video, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Have a good day.